Thank you very much for joining the permissions lesson. If you did not take the roles lesson, please take it before you start this one. You need to understand how roles work before you do the permissions. The permissions will be part of the profiles module, which we are going to cover today. And this is an extremely, extremely important lesson. The previous lesson, the roles, was dealing with content. This lesson is dealing with permissions to the global system. So it's extremely important. If you will find this video helpful, I will really appreciate that you will give it a thumbs up. It helps me personally with my uh, YouTube ranking and it will also help other people access this video. Because it's a YouTube video, I will give you just the highlight of, of the profiles and permission system. But just know that in my Zoho CRM course, you have the full lesson with all the content. But of course, I will try to give you as much value as possible, even though it's just a YouTube channel. Let's begin. Please click on the settings on the top and then click on the security control. And you will land on the profiles. The system is coming as out of the box with the administrator and standard profiles. Please do not use the standard profile. Even though it sounds like the standard profile is just standard and it's cool, it's not. It's, it has tons of permissions which you're not supposed to give to your employees. Please don't use it. The administrator is supposed to be only for the person who is administering the system. I call it God. So the person in your organization that can do anything and is usually the owner of the company or the CTO or the CIO, they will have administrator permissions. Other people not supposed to, be, to have administrative permissions. Now, we are going to create a new profile just so I can start playing with it and show you. Or even better, let's start with the standard, the profile that I don't want you to touch. If we go to the standard, you can see that you have here lots of different permissions. The basic will be that you will have access to all the different modules in your CRM. If you think about it, every person you in the company will have some kind of a duty. If it's a salesperson, he's supposed to deal with leads, contacts, accounts, deals, and activities, maybe invoices sometimes, but he will not need to have access to all the CRM, which includes all the company data. So if you can see here, the standard profile is coming with access to everything, including the lead option which means employees can delete information from the CRM if they choose so. I don't like it. Another problem, there is the ability to export any type of information from the system. And this is the number one problem with employees in the world, not only you know, in North America, worldwide. People sell information to the competition and getting paid for it, huge amount of money. Okay, and another problem is that employees will use your information to open their own company in the future and contact your clients. And legally in North America, you cannot do anything about it. You cannot sue your previous employee for doing so. So there is a problem. Anyway, I'm not, by the way, a lawyer, but that's what I heard from companies. They try to sue their employees that did it or their past employees, and they were not able to do it. So probably there is a legal problem around it. You can see here that also the, the standard, can, standard profile can convert, share, do mess update, mess delete. It's really, really bad. Lots of stuff. So I personally think that, that this, this uh, profile should not be used. Okay. It's, it's a dangerous one. So in order to change one of the uh, modules permissions, you can click on the button here on the 
uh, green button and you can disable or enable the entire module which means if a standard profile is assigned to an employee and you turn off the leads completely it will not be able to access the lead system anymore if you turn it on it will have access to all those permissions if you click on the permissions you can for example restrict the delete which means the employee now will not be able to delete a record or maybe you want them only to view the records okay so this is this is a big thing that you should consider doing okay so i hope it makes sense and let me before i close this video let me just show you how to clone another uh, record if you click on the clone you will be able to provide a name so let's say those will be uh, that will be for the sales manager so i'm creating a specific profile for the sales managers one or more and now you can see that i have the profile and now you can start and go ahead and hide different modules or change their permissions okay thank you very much for watching this session i hope that you will take advantage of this uh, amazing uh, tool it will protect your business and keep you safe okay thank you very much for watching we'll see you in the next session